What's going on guys? Troy again and we are back in downtown Buffalo. The NHL Combine is going on through the end of this week, which it'll be June 4th on Saturday. Another prospect taking time out of his day to come hang out with us, rip some cards. We're going to do some hip parade stuff. Tyler Brennan, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So, collector growing up? A little bit, yeah. Yeah? Just hockey cards mainly? Yeah. Okay, great. So, then you won't mind, we'll do some Hit Parade Hockey Limited Edition. I believe it is Series 21. So, 10 boxes in here. There's gonna be 10 cards, just one a pack. Um, there's gonna be an autograph card in each. So, we'll see some good autos, hopefully. Sweet. We'll go ahead and open it up. I was telling Cutter what I like to do is I'll open from the bottom so that way we can kind of just push them out. Uh, sometimes they don't cooperate. A little packed a little tight in there. Sometimes some, they do that sometimes. Oh tape, yeah, man. With the tape. Oh, they make yeah. you work for it. Oh yeah. Yeah. They don't. They don't, they don't just come easy, no. unfortunately. So all right. So there we can see. Love the color of these boxes though. Kind of trying to mimic the color of the ice. Thought they did a nice job. Let's keep this in order so they don't just like avalanche on me. All right, cool. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad, right? Not I, bad at all. I've, I've done it once or twice. Yeah. I've done it a few times. <laughs> so I appreciate that. All right, so here we go. We'll start off. There it is. Limited edition, 100 box run here. So what I'll do is I will cut, I'll take the plastic off for you. And then what I'll have you do is you're gonna pop the box open and we can check out who's inside. Sure. Let's go ahead, box number one we're doing here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, these ones might be a little tougher. Come on. I thought I did a good job cutting, maybe not. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's see. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> so I thought. <laughs> these boxes, they really like, come on, like we oh there we go. Oh, so yeah. I think the trick. We popped Just the top there. All right. So, all right. Go ahead. Let's see who's behind box number one. What do we got? Oh. Good start. Oh, that's a great start. Oh, come on. Great start. Great position. Not a bad position. Not right? a bad at all. Would you say possibly the best on the ice? I probably. Yeah. You're, you know, you're pretty always, confident. He's about up that, there. Right? Yeah, for sure. So, perfect here. Obviously, you're a goal yourself. We got Patrick Waugh auto. Beautiful auto right there. Nice auto too. Like he actually like takes his time. Oh yeah. So, you know, obviously is that someone that you've studied? Obviously you can go through YouTube or obviously NHL Network, but uh, you know, what what's your position on Patrick Waugh? Well, I mean, back in the day he was, you know, one of the best one of the best to play. And, you know, besides the little glove fumble he had there, you know, I'd say he'd probably a, one of the best careers ever been on. Yeah, hundred percent. And uh, love the love the old school feel to the pads there, that, that, that old leather. Oh man, it looks so good, but one, I think one of my favorite things from him is when he chirped Ronick and said that his uh, Stanley Cup rings were clogging his ears. Oh my God. Yeah, right, that was, that was a good one. Now we'll toss that to the side, we'll move on to number two here. Let's see if we can cut this one a little bit better. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> Yeah, if we pop this side with the silver one, it seems like that worked a little bit better. Easy. Like butter now. Who we got here? Oh, Patrick Line. Also a beauty there. With the Winnipeg Jets, too. Back when he was with the Jets. Back when he was with the Jets, obviously. Uh, now on the Blue Jackets. A nice looking card there. Like a great looking card. Did you have any autograph cards growing up, or is it just kind of you know? Uh, I think I may have had a few. I don't remember exactly which ones they were, but yeah, uh, those were my like prized possessions growing up. Oh, for sure, yeah. right? Yeah. Kept them in the binder, kept them all nice, oh, you yeah. know, right at the front. Show them <laughs> off. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so we'll wrap that one up. Go on to the next here. So I did see somewhere. I can't remember which article I was reading, but you're a big Markstrom Holpe guy. Yeah, I like I liked Holpe back uh, when he was with Washington. Um, like his mental side of the game. Um, uh, I, 
feel like I kind of play like Markstrom, so I've been watching Markstrom this year. Yeah, and obviously, you know, unfortunately, they got bounced last round, but had a good run there. Oh, yeah. It was a good, it was a good series to watch, too. So Very, very strong series. And, I mean, he was playing lights out against Dallas, too, obviously, because, I mean, I know a lot of those games were ending very, very tight. One goal differences. Yeah, that was a good series. Jonathan Taves. The captain right there. From my hometown. Beautiful Winnipeg. Beautiful Winnipeg. Oh yeah. So, so that's an interesting note there. Like obviously most of your life, the Jets have gone about been back in the league, but being a real, real young guy, I don't know, was that before you were kind of into hockey, but who did you follow before the Jets? I went down to Phoenix a few times. My grandparents had a house down there. So I, I watched the Coyotes live. For, that was the first NHL game I watched. I was kind of a Coyotes fan growing up, as well as the Jets. So. Which is interesting because if I'm not mistaken, right, it was it Coyotes was the Jets. Used to be the Jets, yeah. So, so that kind of came full, it come yeah, full circle kind of, right yeah, there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice card there with the hand numbering, four out of five. Good looking auto though. Because there's some like I don't I don't know about you I don't know like you know what kind of what kind of auto you got but I definitely see some guys their autos are just oh yeah not it right yeah I I, I put some, a little bit of time into perfecting mine so. There you go. Got to make it look look a little pretty. Have that good penmanship, right? Exactly. Love that. Now, was there anybody like when you were younger, like you know, doing camp? Was there any big players that were visiting camps and that you were at that you were grabbing autos from on a puck or something like that? Uh, I was just kind of you know, as a young kid, you'd see the Jets somewhere, or, you know, doing something at uh, at a rink or something. Yeah. You'd just go up and you get whatever you had signed. I think I had a shirt signed by. So, yeah, good interactions with them. Yeah, just, you know, whatever I had, I was getting them to sign. Who we got here? Nico Ranton. It's a good looking card. That is nice, a little piece of the jersey there, too. Yeah. Nice little aesthetic to it. That's not one at all. Yeah, coming out uh, from the tunnel there, too. Yeah. Have you, uh, I mean, you know, you. you we're still in the prospect stages. Obviously, the draft coming up uh, later in July. But coming out of the tunnel, have you just have you ever ha heard anything that kind of like I know you're probably focused. It's game day, but is there anything that you just heard that you were kind of like you were taken aback by, or something weird someone said to you while you're walking uh, out the tunnel? It wasn't really when I was walking out the tunnel. It was when I was backing up one game. I was. Uh... My team, uh, one guy on my team went up for a breakaway, so I stood out of the chair. And the guy behind the bench was like, Brennan, sit back down. I'm like, all right. Yeah, like he was sure. your parent or something? Yeah, right? I was like, like trying to scold you? He's like, sure, okay, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see what we got in this one. Rookie card. Yeah, another jersey auto. We actually, so when we were doing some stuff with Cutter, we pulled uh, Matthew. So, nice little Brady here though, huh? Yeah. That's, out, that's out of 15. Rookie one too, which is nice. Yeah. It's a good looking card too. Now, are you a fan, like, you know, obviously goalie, but you a fan of the Kachuk brothers? Yeah. No, I, you know, I was growing up, my, my dad was a huge Jets guy, so when Keith Kachuk played for the Jets, he, he loved him. So, uh, I've kind of followed him a little bit through, through their careers. Very nice. And that, you know, that brings me to, I'd love to ask you, you know, who, who are some of those guys out there that, you know, you're looking forward to facing? I mean, I, I love playing against the, the, you know, really talented guys, the really good guys. You know, they, they give me a challenge, and, you know, when you save them, you kind of you feel pretty good about knowing that, yeah, you, you stopped one of, the, one of the best guys. Like, um, playing against, like, Logan Stanko when he played for Cameron Blazers, going up against him every night. You, you know, you save him one time, you know, yeah. He had a good shot. He thought he was scoring, but, but not today. Not today. So, yeah. Nope. Today's not the day, huh? Exactly. So you got that little feather in the cap. Yeah. Absolutely. Another rookie one, huh? Mero Heiskanen. Nice. Okay. Solid defenseman. Absolutely. I wouldn't mind having him on my team. Yeah, you'd like, yeah. you wouldn't mind being behind him, huh? No, I wouldn't. Yeah. They got a good little defensive core there too. I mean, like Klingberg too, yeah. obviously. Yeah, no, they got they got good defensemen, so I would, uh, would never complain having them in front of me. Yeah. So if you were to have, let's say, a dream pair to play in front of, 
past, present, future NHL guys, who who would be your dream pair to play in front of you defensively? Um, I would say back uh, Dustin Bufflin with the Jets. He'd be one of them. You know, lay the body pretty good. Oh my god! Fire the guys up a little bit with the big hits. Um, and then I'd kind of go with the uh, with the Kale McCarr, kind of Bufflin and Matar. Makar goes and scores a little bit. Bufflin just lays the body in the D zone. I was gonna say, I feel like that's a very nice, like they would uh, complement each other very well. Yeah. Where, you know, Cal very skilled with the stick. And then like you said, watching Dustin lay people out, like there was no, not many better things than watching that, honestly. It was one of the funnest things about watching. Yeah, right? Just waiting for him to lay, lay a huge hit. Oh, he was great, man. Another very talented, very talented team there too. Uh, you know, was, came up a little bit short. But I was surprised they got swept there. I, I thought they were going to make a little bit of a push against Tampa there. Obviously, Agree. Tampa's a good team, but you know, Florida's a pretty good team too. I thought they were going to have something there. Yeah, such such an offensive-minded team too. Yeah. And I feel like you got a good point that like you know, for them to be swept like that, and uh, you know, it, it was pretty crazy. And I think. That was a testament to Vasilevsky in those in those big games, or as you get deeper into the playoffs. Yeah, no, it was it was surprising for sure. So you know, you know, and you, I mean, where where do you think you would rank Vaz right now among the league wide goalies? Oh, he's he's playing on real. Right now. I I'd put him up there for you know, probably best in the league right now, especially after some of the performances he had in the playoffs. Yeah. So big guy too. Yeah. Big, big boy. He's quick too. He's he's yeah, quick getting around. For his size. Yeah. Here's another another tendy. Good one too. Flower. Back with the pens too. Yeah, I know crazy you know, I was I was very surprised when he moved on from Vegas, I gotta be honest. Yeah. No, you you, you played really good in Pittsburgh and then I was lighting it up there with, with Vegas. So. Funny guy too. Oh yeah. Hilarious. Pretty loves to pull pranks on the boys. And yeah. The and stuff, so. I remember growing up when they would do like the the road to the Winter Classic, and you know I think they followed Pittsburgh around for one of the umpteen ones that they've been in, right? But uh, some things that came out of his mouth, I was just I was dying. Oh yeah. He's yeah. Funny guy, but that that's goalie for you. We're, uh, we're a different breed. So. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, I've heard that. Like uh, one of my favorite guys that I really loved was uh, Ilya Bristolov. Oh yeah, absolute electric factory, right? Oh, yeah. That guy had some great like interviews, and I, I, he's a guy that I definitely, I feel like he should definitely have a job as like you know on TNT or you know so wherever. Just yeah, give, oh, yeah. give him a microphone, right? Yeah, exactly. You think you'd be pretty good on the mic? You think you'd fare well with that or? I, I think I might be a, a, in uh, in the future. I think I could be like a, like a biz or something. Yeah. Yeah. I think I could, I could do something like that. So you heard it here first. You hear that? So like 20, 30, whatever. We're looking forward. Uh, look for this guy. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh, nice little duel here, huh? Ferris and Stamkos. Actually, a great card too. So this product is called the Cup. It's like their high-end product, like their top shelf stuff. Yeah. And I think that, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that might be a rookie, right? I think that might be a rookie. But nonetheless, like beautiful, like patch auto there. Yeah. You know, That's, three, four colors. This would be at the front of my uh, my card collection. Yeah. Showing this off to my buddies all the time. Definitely. 100%. So if you had like a dream card, like if you decided to start collecting again, Who's like that one card that you would feel you need in your collection? Uh, I mean, that's tough because you know, I would have to be like a, an old school goalie. Like, you know, maybe a Brodeur. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah, Brodeur, yeah. Like, watched him as a kid too, so uh, that wouldn't be a bad one. Ever. Yeah, showcase, showcase it all. Start off with a little, with a little bit of a bang. There, so. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, don't even wait. Don't kind of lead into it. Just start it off. Oh, yeah. That would be that'd be a good one. All right. Well, last box here. How'd we do so far? What do you think? It's pretty solid. Yeah. So far. You know, some pretty solid cards in there. Two tens in there. So 
Yeah, I can't, can't complain about those two. So I think we gotta end with a bang, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Thanks again to the people over at Hip Parade for hooking us up with some hockey limited edition. All right, let's go. Last one. Last one. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a pretty good one. Yeah. Oh yeah, Quinn Hughes. I think that's a good. That's a good end, right? There. That's a good end. Pretty looking card too. It's a good looking card. Nice auto there from Quinn. Jersey auto. I wouldn't mind him having a, a top D pair too. Yeah. What do you like about his game? I mean, he's offensively talented, but at the same time, he's, he can get back and he can play defensively. So uh, you can put the puck in the net, but you can also play defense. Not that you need it, but he would probably help you bail you yeah. out a little bit, right? Maybe bail me out a few times. Yeah. Which would be nice. There you go. All right. Well, hey, Tyler, I really appreciate you doing this, taking time out of your day. Did you have a good time? It was unreal. Those are some sweet looking cards. Yeah. I think we might have to open a little more soon, right? Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be back for sure. I like the sound of that. I must have done a good job. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you again. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe across all of our platforms. We'll see you next time.